Hello guys and welcome to a new episode. Today we're going to be changing glow plugs on an Audi A6 on the C7 chassis with the 3 litre TDI engine. Now this particular engine code applies to the CDUC or the CDUD. Now if you're unsure of your engine code, I'll insert a little clip in now to show you how to find out. Turn your ignition on and then hold your trip reset button for around 10 seconds and then the bottom right just where the parking light is just above it you'll see your engine code pop up and there you go so this is the cduc to be honest this video will apply to most of the three liter tdi engines as they are very similar now all the tools that you require i will link in the description and the parts you require for this particular engine code i will also link in the description but all the tools really are is a torque wrench, a kind of a specialist 10 mil bit with like a little rubber like um, O-ring inside to lift the injectors out. Although you don't specifically need one with the O-ring, you can just get a deep 10 mil socket. And then you will need a set of snipe nose to pull out the um, glow plug if that's the case and probably need an extension bar as well. So, first thing you're going to want to do is remove the engine cover by just li simply lifting it up and it should unclip. Then you can lift that and move it out of the way. Now, your glow plugs are located with your first one just here, you've got a cap just here. Your second one is just here. This one, there's another one just at the back here. Just there. And then over the other side. If you look just here you've got another one just there and you've got another one just behind this plug sat just there and then one at the back here which is a bit tight to get to it's just there now I'll put a picture on the screen now to show you which cylinder is which so you know which cylinders are one two three four five six now the first thing you want to do is actually I'm gonna go for this one over here just for the ease of the video really first thing you want to do is actually pull the cap off the glow plug now if you can't pull it off by hand I'll put a link down in the description for a special type of pliers which actually just grips over the back of it to lift the cap out so if you lift the cap out just move that out of the way to give you a bit of space down there and you can just see down there down the bottom there you can see the glow plug now you're likely going to have a lot of debris all around the top of that inside there so you're going to want to use an airline to give it a good blow in there to give it a good clean out to make sure there's no debris before you start undoing that because you don't want any debris to go inside the engine when you remove the glow plug so if we take our 10 mil deep socket on the extension bar and it's critical that you have a torque wrench now when you come to undo these, these have a sheer torque value. And these ones are 20 newton meters. Now you don't want to apply any more force than 20 newton meters. If you set your torque wrench to that and it's not undoing, then you will likely want to soak the glow plug with WD-40 or something similar like release spray and let that soak in the night before you remove the glow plugs. And then when you come to undo them, if it starts to undo and it goes tight, then you want to screw it back in unscrew it, screw it back in, keep doing that gradually until it comes out. It should eventually come out. So if we go ahead put this onto the glow plug, push that all the way down. There we go. Now I've got my torque wrench set to 20 newton meters. It should undo before it reaches that torque limit. So let's give that a go. There we go, that's gone. See that, that was a lot less than the 20 newton meters required. Which hopefully should be the same on all six of them. But you do get some stubborn ones sometimes. If we remove that all the way out. So I can feel that now, that's actually gone loose now. So if I lift this out, I mean, this particular type of 10 mil socket that I've got actually lifts the glow plug out. 
all at once but if you don't have this type and your glow plug is still in there then I'll actually show you how to do that so yes yeah, so if your glow plug is still in there just like that you can just like see in there yep there you go if your glow plug sat there like that all you need is a set of snipe nose pliers or a magnet a magnet will actually do just fine to lift these out so let's go ahead and remove that there we go there's our glow plug so yeah now you can see on here all the corrosion around the threads here and you get a lot of carbon build up around the bottom there which is actually what seizes these in in a lot of the cases but if you give them a good soak as you can see it will hopefully soak through the thread and down and help you release them now when you take your new glow plug if i just uh, put on the extension bar here see as you can see this is why it's easier with this type of socket because it can hang on the end there so you carefully drop it back in and you do the first part up by hand so you, you make sure you don't cross thread it or anything like that See, this is actually screwing in relatively easy as it should be going back in now when you come to do this back up I'll just set my torque wrench there we go when you come to do this back up you want to torque it up to 15 newton meters and no more that's all it requires to do these glow plugs up because any more than that you could shear it off and then you're gonna have big problems because it's gonna be stuck in the head of the engine so if we torque this up there we go and that is 15 newton meters now the other issue that you might have actually with this type of socket as you can see the extension bar leaves it in there whereas if you get your snipe nose pliers you can just pull that out just like that there you go and then once that's in there all you want to do is pop your cap back on and now when you push these on you will hear actually a little click when you push it and it's seated correctly if you listen that little click and that should be the same on all, on all of them but yeah it can be a bit tight on some of the other ones I mean this one is not too difficult to get to that one at the back there could be a bit tight which is where you may need those special pliers to lift the cap off and you'll definitely need a magnet or a snipe nose to get that one out and yeah as you can see they're all, they're all pretty tight I mean that's pretty tight just there there and that's probably the most difficult one at the back here because you've got a few pipes in the way but it's still accessible so yeah once that's all screwed back in and plugged back in that's pretty much it and then you can then just go ahead and put your cover back on to the engine which is you just line it up with the oil cap make sure it's all level you'll feel it just pops back in just like that and on the back as well that's it popped back on job done now i hope this episode has helped you out in some way and if it does please don't forget to give a like and subscribe and click the bell notification so you're notified each time i upload and until next time guys take care